It has been said that if God made anything more beautiful than the horse, he kept it for himself. Breeders, owners, and trainers of the American Saddlebred and Hackney have carefully developed and nurtured their horses and ponies to be the most stylish of all equine breeds, each possessing unrivaled beauty, athletic ability, and intelligence. Whether riding or driving, using them in the show ring or at home in the pastures, or riding and driving in non-traditional show ring competitions, these prolific breeds separate themselves from all others because of their style. The history and romance of these two breeds go back well beyond the early 1890s when both the American Hackney Horse Society and the American Saddlebred Horse Association were first formed. Although they started worlds apart, the American Saddlebred and Hackney virtually paralleled one another on their rise to prominence in the show ring of today. A product of a mix of breeds, primarily the Narragansett Pacer and the Thoroughbred, the early Saddler was a horse of choice for plantation owners and Civil War generals alike for their easy gait, docile temperament, great power of endurance, and overall beauty and expression. Southern owners used these horses for work, transportation, and bragging rights and carefully crossed the best of these Saddlers to form the horse we know today as the American Saddlebred. Known as a peacock of the show ring, the Saddlebed has proven to possess great versatility, able to excel in many settings. The Hackney traces its roots to England, as its early ancestors were known as trotting horses that could easily cover great distances of rough ground. King Henry VIII required the wealthy to keep a number of trotting horse stallions, which became known as Norfolk Trotters. In the mid-1700s, this line of horses became known as the Shale Horse, which would evolve into the Hackney Horse. In 1870, the Hackney Horse was crossed with a fell and Welsh ponies to create the Hackney Pony that we know today. The Hackney was imported to the northeast section of the United States to be used for stylish transportation. It could be found pulling carriages through the streets of the northeast major cities and eventually as motorized transportation was invented, horsemen saw the Hackney's use transformed to a show horse and pony. The American Saddlebred and the Hackney Pony eventually found themselves performing in the nation's most prestigious show rings because of their extreme athletic ability, beautiful presence, and love of performing. As these equine athletes evolved, so did their owners in usage. Decades ago, mostly the wealthy owned and exhibited these breeds. Today, families and individuals from coast to coast, both in and out of the show ring, enjoy these breeds. We invite you to join us on this journey of the aristocrats of the equine world. My name is Misty Wrigley Miller and I've been involved with the American Saddlebred for about 20 years, breeding and competing. An American Saddlebred horse shares the qualities of a great American. The horse has a wonderful work ethic. He will give you 110% to complete the task at hand. He is strong, courageous, powerful, yet can be very kind, gentle, loving, is great with children. And like most Americans, he has um, a very rich and diverse genetic background. In fact, um, he is a, shares a unique connection with us Americans as one of his forebears was a type of horse called the Narragansett Pacer. And that is the type of horse that Paul Revere rode on his famous midnight ride. So um, the American saddle 